Now that we've looked closely at variables, lists, and maps, we can use that information to create our grocery list. Before we do that, we're going to go into this test folder here, and we're going to go in this widget underscore test dot dart. And we're going to change this my app to material app. And that'll get rid of that error. So we'll save that. Now let's go ahead and create a list view and go ahead and put some dummy data into it. We will save that and now you see the grocery item one, grocery item two, and grocery item three up here. But what exactly are these const keywords we keep seeing? Const is short for constant. It's used when something will not change. Let's put this example in main for a second. So if you run this, you'll see that it ran fine and there's no problems other than it's telling you not to put print in there, which is normal. But watch what happens if I try to set name to another value after this print. We get an error and it says the constant variables can't be assigned a value. So simply put, constants are, well, constant. They're not supposed to change. I'll explain more here in a second. So we'll delete this example up here. Now we will create a list above this build right here in home screen. We will have to remove the const here and also remove this const up here now. Now we will put the grocery items in the list view. You saw this loop in the previous episode. It is what's called a four in loop. But unlike the example previously, since this is one line, we don't have to use the curly brackets. You do notice we get an error though. The values in a constless literal must be constants. That's because the grocery item can change, and in fact, it does. And therefore, the values in this for in loop are no longer constant. So we can remove this const here. Now we will save. And now we see our actual fruit inside the application. So this is a simple list view, but we can also do something called a list view builder, which allows us to build a list view without having to use a for in loop. So we will first do this. And then the first property we're going to set for our list view builder is one called item count. So we need to get the total count of all the entries in our list to set this property. And do you remember how to do that from the last episode? You guessed it, we use length. Now we need to add the item builder. And once you save, you can still see your fruit inside the application. So let's make it look a little prettier now. We're going to do the actual theme in a future episode. Let's first put our text widget inside a list tile widget. We can do that by route mouse clicking on text, doing refactor, and doing wrap with widget. We will call it list tile and change this to title. 
and once you save you can see a little bit of extra spacing there but we're also going to use a card widget so that we can add a little bit more visible separation we'll do it the same way we'll right mouse click and do refactor then we'll wrap with the widget we'll put card here and we don't have to change child this time so we save it and you'll see the cards around the grocery items now so we can also put some dummy prices in there for now using trailing. You'll notice we put the slash by the dollar sign. It's because we don't want Flutter thinking this is a variable. So we have our prices on the screen now. So now let's go ahead and create a list for our prices as well. We're going to do a double, which means that there are decimal places. And then we will plug the price in right here inside the list tile. And now that this value can change, we can remove the const because it's no longer constant. Once we save it, we can now see these prices inside the application. Now it's time to add the text field and the add button to be able to add groceries to our list. Since they're going to be beside each other, we're going to use a row widget. A row widget takes the widgets inside of it and puts them side by side horizontally. So let's create our row widget. And inside the row widget, we will put an expanded widget and the text box widget. An expanded widget expands the text field to fill all the available space in the row. Now let's add our add button. We'll add a const right here since this will not change at the moment. So now you can see the text field right here. You can slightly see this line here and then we have the add button right beside it. So now we just need to add the grocery item to the groceries list once the add button is pressed. We'll go ahead and do a test add to make sure everything will work real quick. So for our test, we will add test to the groceries list and then we're going to print the groceries list to the console so we can see that it works successfully. So I'll go ahead and press the plus button over here. And when we go into the console here, we see that it did add test to the grocery list, but you'll also notice that it did not add it to the list over here in the application. That's because of something called state that we will talk about in the next episode. See you then.